Hello everyone. Greetings. Greetings and welcome to your day one instructional video for your meditation practice. Congratulations on coming through day one. You've all done so well and try not to think about the fact that you've got six more to go or a lifetime spanning after that. That's right. The fact is we are implementing really beneficial tools that we're using within and we're going to take a minute to talk about those tools we're going to talk about what meditation is mm -hmm. we're going to talk about what it's not what it's not and we're going to talk about some benefits that it's going to have for you now please bear in mind this is not a comprehensive list of any of these things no this is our perspective right we spoke about our experience with meditation in the last video mm -hmm. and this is just what we are giving you will find these answers are completely different to somebody else that has mm -hmm. done different practices right there's plenty of practices out there and it is not number one I think the most important thing is is that there is no right or wrong way to meditate right so if you have come into this intensive workshop with the idea that you have to achieve a state of empty mind in order to be meditating let that go mm -hmm. forget go. that right yep so it's probably a great place to start mm -hmm. what meditation is not right so it is not a practice of emptying the mind. It is if you're a Zen Buddhist, but that's not what we're doing here. There are tools <laughs> that you can use within meditation mm -hmm. to help empty the mind mm -hmm. for, for particular reasons. But that is not what meditation is all about. Meditation is about clarity, concentration, mindful awareness. Mindful awareness. Presence and observation. Right. Mm -hmm. So the difference being... A practice of clear mind meditation is like a clear blue sky. Mm -hmm. The sky is empty of everything but the sky itself. Mm -hmm. A practice of mindful meditation mm -hmm. is recognizing that there are clouds in the sky and just allowing them to drift through. Being without, present with the clouds. Right. Recognizing them without attaching to them, without wishing they weren't there, mm -hmm. without hating on them for being there. Just observing their, their flow across the sky and when they're gone, just looking at what comes next. Mm -hmm. And acknowledging with mindful awareness and loving kindness, which we're going to get into in a little more detail later in the week, mm -hmm. just acknowledging what comes up while you sit and while you practice. And above all, for many of you who are beginners at this, above all, learning to just stay mm. regardless of what comes up mm -hmm. because so often I know for me in the beginning of my practice people get discouraged when their mind kicks up their mm. mind starts thinking and they get frustrated and I'm not meditating because look my mind is thinking and oh my god I might as well just quit now <laughs> and I'm sure some of you are laughing right now because you identify with that you mm. know what acknowledging the fact that those are the thoughts you are having is a form of meditation mm -hmm. Because you are being present with it, and you are breathing into it, and instead of reacting and quitting, you're allowing the thought to pass and mm -hmm. bringing the awareness back to your breath. It's all about no judgment. So when your mind wanders... Neutrality. You recognize that it's wandered. Mm -hmm. You bring it back to your breath. Mm -hmm. You come back to whatever it is that you are focusing on within the meditation, and you start the meditation practice again without judgment. Mm -hmm. And when the mind wanders... You don't start getting frustrated and say, don't get oh, mad at yourself. what kind of mind have I got? It's thinking. What else is it going to do? <laughs> you just accept that this is where you are at, this is where mm -hmm. the mind is at, mm -hmm. and then sit with it. If you, if you, I would like you guys to think about your minds right now. Anyone who doesn't have a regular meditation practice is going to have an undisciplined mind. Mm. So if you guys can look at it that way, it's something that helped me in the beginning that it, you know, if you start working out at the gym, your body is going to be undisciplined and untrained mm -hmm. right now. You're just starting out a meditation practice. So your mind is going to be undisciplined and untrained Right. through meditation. We are going to start to training your mind, which means it won't be, it will be less all over the place. It will be less judgmental. It will be less, uh, likely to take you hostage and hijack mm. your whole thoughts with worry and anxiety. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to pause and think about for a second how many times of the day your mind is everywhere but where you are. Mm -hmm. right. right? So through meditation, we're going to teach and help you guys bring your mind to where your body is at any given moment. Ah. And to be present with what's occurring around and in front of you. 
Right now, how many of you are thinking about what you have to do next? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? Did I catch you? <laughs> so yeah. meditation is a tool mm -hmm. that will allow you to be present with what you're currently doing at any given moment, one task at a time. Right. I just really quickly mm -hmm. want to say um, just on what it's not before we go right. to what it is. The other thing that we want to make a point of saying it's not is it's not religious. It's not, not religious at it's all. It's not sectarian. Meditation is a practice that's used by priests, monks, mm -hmm. lay people, um, Sufi, anyone and everyone. Sufis, mm -hmm. everyone, all yogis, over the world. Yogis, everyone. Doctors, mm -hmm. you know, scientists. People. There's plenty of scientific people. studies that you can read about. <clears throat> The benefits of meditation mm. if you're someone who likes facts and studies and and proof in that way mm -hmm. um, it's something that these days most successful people in the world have a practice of doing yes um, and then yeah so we covered uh, what it wasn't so it's it doesn't necessarily have to be empty mind it's not religious mm -hmm. and there is no wrong or right way to meditate mm. And the goal of this uh, seven days and these introductory and educational videos is to expose you all to some various forms that we've used and we've had success with. Mm -hmm. So you can be guided through practicing those and find out what really speaks to you on an inner right. level and what works for you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be sitting up cross-legged. You can be laying down if that works for you. Mm. Right? Absolutely. So we have kind of touched on what it is, you mm -hmm. know, when we said the analogy of the clouds drifting across the sky, it is mindful contemplation, right? It can be mindful comp contemplation of the day ahead mm -hmm. of the day that has passed, uh, mindful contemplation of what emotional state you're in right now. You can use meditation as a tool for visualization. Mm -hmm. If you're a visual person and, and you're trying to find peace, you can visualize peaceful, serene connections with nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, with energy work, you can visualize energies leaving your body, energies flowing into your body. If you're trying to invoke a behavior in yourself, bravery or, you know, courage or strength or the ability to speak up for yourself, you can mm. meditate and visualize yourself. Mm embodying those things mm -hmm. and that is a very empowering practice mm. so it can be visualization it can be chanting you can use music singing bowls so one of the things that i like most about meditation is that being that it's mindful awareness mm -hmm. you can take your meditation anywhere you don't anywhere. have to just be sitting or yes. laying down you could be doing the dishes and if you are aware of what you were Mindful. doing in the moment that mm -hmm. you were doing it and it's you're mindfully aware of it, it becomes a meditation. This makes even the most mundane aspect of your everyday work life mm -hmm. fun mm -hmm. because you can take it into a meditative state. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you are giving your entire self to that moment and you're aware that you are you doing will that, find bliss in that moment. You are in meditation. If you're doing the dishes and you are fully there and your hands are in the warm soapy water and you're feeling the soap along the plates and you're just enjoying the fact that like you have this water and this soap and this plate to clean, it becomes a very beautiful moment mm. walking down the street out in the sun and you're fully there and you're feeling the ground beneath your feet and feeling the sun on your face and you're not you know your mind isn't in 10 other places it becomes a very mindful walking meditation mm. and buddhist monks are huge for walking mindful meditation right. and this is something we're gonna devote one whole day of the education on is mm -hmm. the mindful mm. meditation practice because it's so key i want you guys to focus on today I want you to look at how many tasks you perform during the day that you are not present for. Right. How many times, and I want you to start adding this into your routine. When you're standing there brushing your teeth, I want you to look in the mirror and remind yourself that you're standing there brushing your teeth. Mm -hmm. Feel it. Interact with it. Don't think about the rest of your day. Tell yourself, I'm here and I'm brushing my teeth right now. Mm -hmm. Same thing while you're washing the dishes, when you're driving to work. Yeah. And I want you guys to comment below on where you find your mind over the course of the day. Mm. What are you thinking about when you're brushing your teeth? What are you thinking about when you're washing the dishes? Mm. Yep. And I think I would really like to hear um, any questions about anything we just touched on in, in the feed below this. Um, and I definitely want to hear back from you guys on where your um, 
finding your mind over the course of the day. And we're going to take one more minute and go one minute over and just quickly touch on the benefits of meditation. Just very quickly, some of the things that you're going to start noticing very, very soon into the practice. And I mean, if you do this, if you follow this course within these seven days, you are going to start to notice this. Mm -hmm. I absolutely promise you that. So you're going to notice that you're going to have more serenity in your life. Mm -hmm. You're going to become calmer. You're going to be more peaceful. You're mm -hmm. going to feel more peace inside of you, regardless of what's happening outside of yourself. Because you are consciously breathing, mm -hmm. you're going to be taking in more oxygen. You're going to feel more enlivened. Energized. Energized. Focused. Mm -hmm. Clear. Yes. And you're going to feel more, um, just more grounded. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very and more so. empowered. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the key. So less reactive and less likely to be swayed by outer circumstances. Mm -hmm. And some of you that we've been working with one-on-one -on -one can already attest to that. And I would love for you guys to chime in in the comments below this. Right. <laughs> so we'll see you guys later this evening. Namaste and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.